uh, if you remember last time uh, I mentioned that I need to make only one enemy should uh, come and search when I make a whistle sound actually that is already implemented even though these all of these characters turn and look only one of them is coming so the reason it didn't work last time is I haven't set I had not set this uh, NPC manager variable so through this NPC manager let me show you this NPC manager has a function called can I search here can I show no not this one here can I search where is it implemented so here this function makes sure that only one uh, NPC character is going to the location where the whistle is heard. So I have actually used that function through the character blueprint. In here, let me show the behavior tree. And uh, search in minor thread. Here I have can I search. So this is the part that takes care of it. So, but when I don't have set, when I haven't set this NPC manager, the then these NPC characters take decisions individually. That means they are not acting like uh, as a team. So all of them decided to decides to come and search. So that's what happened last time. Right now, the next uh, thing I want to do is. So I don't think the closest character to me is going to come and check let's see all of them heard and which one is going to come see this one so it's actually randomly select not the closest character is going to come and search so if i try it again It's random uh, even though it's the same character not the closest one is coming to search so when something like that happens for the player it may not be convenient because player can't uh, logically deduce that if I make if I want to lure not the closest character is going to come to search then player it may be uh, hard for the player to make a strategy so I want to make the closest enemy to come and search so to do that I think let's open the AI controller and when a whistle is heard actually when a noise is heard we call this report threat level and so it goes basically inside here with this uh, so with this is the subtree minor thread search in subtree so if i reduce the wait time uh, if i make the wait time depend on the search location that means if I make the wait time less for uh, closer characters and higher for further characters then we can make the closest character uh, to try to uh, come and search first but how do we do that so instead of using this wait 
let's create a new task based on bt task blueprint base i'll name it bt task it oh we already have one uh does it do right here we have one uh let's see let me just open and see what it does Ah, it gets wait time well this is relevant to wait in in i think when they are patrolling when they wait in some position i think that's what this is relevant so let's have a different name pt task Wait for search. Okay. Right. Here, let's override this receive execute AI. So mm, we need to know the search location. uh that we need to pass it as a blackboard key board key selector such location and let's make this public get value as vector and calculate distance to the controlled pawn get that the location And let's divide this by thousand. Then add. Uh, we always wait here four seconds. See, so let me promote this to a variable. Base wait time by promoting this as a variable we can change it if we want when we call this task and let's simply wait a delay and finish execute with a success right now here instead of this wait i'll call uh, wait for search wait one more minor thing here class settings uh, where do we set the name oh, class default not name let's stay set this wait for search now wait for search so it this place has just wait for search this not name so base wait time is for 
and as the search location I will give the noise location okay now if this works as intended uh, the closest character should always get the uh, com for searching let's see yeah great let's test again all five of them heard yeah this guy is coming just to be sure let me test again wait this time let's make the noise here why didn't this guy hear it maybe I have disabled the AI controller for it where is it oh yeah see whatever I say is disabled that's why okay I'm not sure who is the closest one is ah that one okay Let me put him here. This guy should come. Oh, is he closer? okay all right I think it's working mm -hmm. all right and another issue I have this is not relevant to searching when I uh, kill a character with the silencer see this uh, in uh, detection indicator appears the reason is here on this uh, event on touch I call this on C macro so this is uh, I have done this to make if I collide with the with the character with an NPC character I want to make them detect me so that's why I have called this and I think this is called let's see when a bullet is hit see and on bullet hit also we are calling it so what we can do is uh, here 
here. Only if we are killed. I need a branch. Only if we are not killed, we should call this. If we are killed, it's okay. If we are not killed, we should call this and exit what's this okay now that should be fixed. Let's see. See, now the detection method doesn't happen. All right. So, with that, I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.